Hello and welcome to Piano Shack with me, Woody. Today I am going to play for you and demonstrate Analog Dreams by Native Instrument. This is one of my favourite synth plugins. I've been meaning to do a demo for a very long time. And now for the month of March, this is available completely free of charge. Thank you, NI. So I thought, what a great time to do a demo. So today I thought we'll just play through some of the presets here to get a feeling for how it sounds. If you're curious yourselves about perhaps picking this up whilst it's available for free, or even if you're curious about picking it up at the regular price, which I think is about 50 bucks, uh, US bucks or 50 euros. So I'm going to play through some of the sounds. We'll also give you a quick tour of the user interface and I'll explain a little bit about how it works, how to install it and how to get up and running if you want to play with it yourself. Okay, let me give you a quick overview of the front panel here. Put the specs on so I can see what I'm doing. So, Analog Dreams we have here consists of two main parts. There's the A part and a B part. And you load up different samples into each part, as you might expect. And here is the most important control. Over on the left is the blend control. Let me show you what that does if I play a chord. Let's do a nice E. So that's fully A, it's just a mix between the parts A and B. And there's part B. And then you can create your own sounds by mixing freely in between the two. And then we have a set of macro controls that come up on the screen. There are six plus the volume control as well, which are very nicely mapped for me here on the complete control MIDI keyboard controller here. So I can adjust the parameters here and the parameters depend on the different patches as well. So they're not going to be exactly the same. So you do need to check and see what they are. Or you can look at the little screen here as well and see what parameter is that you're adjusting. So this is attack in this case, cut off, have some phaser. Yeah, you get the idea. And you can see I can actually browse as well here using the control, MIDI controller, which is very nice. Let's pick another one, that one there, for example. Did I just pick the same one? Let's try that one instead. And you can see I have a different set of macro controls here. It's very nice. They map the most important parameters to the sound. Rezo filter. Some quite gnarly filtering going on there with a bit of distortion, saturation. Oh. What should we have a control for? Let's 
some pretty nice sounding filters. So you can see it's very easy to quickly tweak the sounds to get something that you really like. And in a second, in a second, I'll show you how you can create a sound from scratch, more or less. Let's say you want to do something which is even more your own then we need to click on part A here and now we get a list of all the samples that we can choose from. This is no virtual analog synthesizer once again. Remember this is a sample library. Uh, NI or their partners have sampled many classic analog synths and I think it captures the analog vibe very well. So let's just pick a few things at random. I'm going to set the mix all the way to A. Let's pick something here. That's quite nice. Okay, let's go for that. Now we're going to go to the B and I'm going to set the mix all the way over. I'll use the control controller here. Let's see if we can find something interesting here as well. You can see there's a lot of samples to choose from. Yeah, that could work. Let's close that and adjust the mix, see what we've got. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty nice. Now, you may have noticed there's not very much deep editing we can do here. And I think that's the intent and the purpose and the design of these instruments as well. And that's actually why I quite like them. They are called the Play series after all. So you do get a little bit of uh, options to tweak the sounds, but there'll be no in-depth editing of envelopes and so on other than what you get with the macro controllers. But that's fine with me. I get my enjoyment from uh, playing this mostly, not tweaking the sounds, and I've got a lot of enjoyment from it over the months. I've actually been using this one for about a year on and off.
Let me briefly mention how to install this if I've sparked your curiosity and you want to try it out for yourself. Well, there are a few hoops that you'll have to jump to. Let me explain. The first thing you'll need to do is register an account. You can't simply download this. You'll need to register an account with Native Instruments. Then you'll need to install their Native Access application, which is their plugin manager. This is where we download all of the applications we want. You'll then download the Analog Dreams. You'll probably have to enter a serial number, activate it. It is completely free, but you'll have to do that. And then you'll download it. It's a few gigabytes in size. This is a sample library, not a virtual analog synthesizer. Something to be aware of. You'll also need to download Contact. This is a sample library. It runs in the Native Instruments Contact Sample Player. There is a free version if you haven't already purchased the full version. It's called Contact Player. So grab that one as well if you don't have the full professional version. And I've been using for this demonstration another piece of software, software from NI, that's called Complete. And this is their wrapper that goes around all of their uh, software instruments. So you can browse all of the presets from all of their instruments. You can filter on categories, for example, just like so. And you also get previews as you step through them. And you get very nice integration with their hardware controllers as well, if that's something that you have. But that's an optional step. But I would recommend it because you get a much cleaner UI. And it's a lot easier to navigate, browse and select your presets. So, yes, there are a few steps to do if you're thinking of downloading and trying this one out. But if you're prepared, prepared to do that, then it's highly recommended. Analog Dreams then is part of the Native Instruments Play series. All of these in the series have the same basic architecture. They are sample libraries, mostly a few gigabytes in size. Be aware of that if you're downloading this. Uh, but they have the same synthesizer architecture. You've got an A and a B sample area that you can mix in between, blend in between, and then the macro controls as well. This is Analog Dreams. I've also got a lot of enjoyment out of Hybrid Keys, which is mashup between conventional keyboard sounds that are twisted and warped with effects and then mixed together with synthesizer sources sounds really really nice and then ethereal earth which is more of your drones soundscapes and cinematic textures all of them sound absolutely wonderful and i do recommend them all Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Cheerio!